got a pretty clean kick over. Hello there, and welcome back to another one of my videos. In this video, we're going to be addressing some issues with advanced retired ignitions and why they're good and bad. So let's go and have a look at what I'm doing. Now, I've been working with uh, Lambrettas for a long, long time and I've been using advanced retired ignitions for quite a while. And they've got their pros and their cons. The pros being, they can actually keep your engine cooler, having a retarded timing up the top end. So as your bike is revving higher, they keep the engine a little cooler and they can then give back a little bit more torque with the change of timing down the bottom end. Advantages are when you're running with these Cassatronic, Variotronic, Vape, or whatever it is with an advanced retard ignition on there. If you're sitting at 4,000, 5,000 RPM on a dual carriageway on a constant speed, your ignition timing is going to be sitting around 24, 23, 22 degrees, and you are heating up your engine. So you're prone to heat seizures at that RPM. very difficult to jet up with the advanced retired ignition it makes it harder for jetting because although your fueling should be lineal curve with your engine revs so as your engine revs up more 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 throttle more volume more fuel to keep that air fuel air ratio correct when you're changing ignition timing during that you are then affecting your mixture because Advanced timing needs more fuel and retarded timing needs less fuel. So you're just complicating the issues of getting that correct. Therefore, some of the power that you've tried to gain with your advanced retard, you're losing because you ain't getting the fuel incorrect. down to the 17 degrees quick enough when you drop off the throttle so the degrees stay high at 23 24 in that mid as the engine comes down so that gives you like a, a weakness of the engine so the engine stays revved a little bit and then when it suddenly drops down to tick over after one or two seconds which makes jetting very difficult because your engine will be revvy um, and then suddenly come back down and that's a, an effect of this advanced retard ignition and the other thing it does is on the overrun it gives like a early pulse of ignition during the overrun so it's running at that 24 and an early pulse is coming in and you get this down 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 pulsing sensation as you're coming down through the revs and that annoys the pants out of me Okay, we're going to time up this now, this new, this new ignition that we've just put on. When you're putting on, when you're changing ignitions and stuff, always remark your top dead centre. Again, never take it for granted that the top dead centre will be the same with a different ignition. It won't be. So re remark your top dead centre again, and mark up your, your timing marks, and re again. Always a must.
we've got a pretty clean tick over, which I could never get before. It comes up off the throttle and goes back down to tick over nice and cleanly. It's like a different bike altogether. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, little piece on advanced retired ignition systems. Uh, I've been having some issues with them. I think other people have as well. And maybe this will shed some light on the subject for people. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel.